Okay, we're checking out the only game that gives you the experience of going to an amusement park where you must ride over the bodies of your friends. It's GTA. I'm not gonna lie, this is a pretty unique concept to start. In order to... <laughs> I'm really good at this. Yay. What I was trying to say is in order to actually get into the very first portion of the parkour... <laughs> Come on. There we go. I have to parkour over an infinite amount of falling bodies coming down a water slide. What I have found simply attempting this is that the bodies of ragdolling human beings are one of the most annoying things in all of GTA. <laughs> ha! Save! Or not. Oh God. Oh no. Uh, well, you know what? <laughs> At least I'm not alone down here. I'm also really curious how they managed to set this board up so that the people are infinite spawning. Like it never ends. It's just a constant avalanche of human beings trying to stop me from getting from point A to point B. Okay, that guy looks pretty meaty. Okay, dodged him. There we go. Oh, what is happening? We got this. Okay, it's getting a little harder to pedal. Are you serious? Well, I guess I'll get to see just how far I fly. Yay! Now I can judge. <sighs> I was gonna say by the body weight of the people falling exactly where they're gonna end up at. The aim of the women trying to murder me falling down this thing is impeccable. Please don't. Please don't do it. Oh! <laughs> ah, God. I did a fantastic dodge only to eventually die from gravity. I love that we're at a point now we're just getting to the initial parkour is more annoying than most of the parkours that I did way back in the day. Okay, so off to the right. There we go. That was a good dodge and right again, right again, right again. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, good. Yeah, see, they all sweep over to the left. And we have a checkpoint scenario. Bloody ride shooting peds. Well, that sounds violent. Is this a parkour or am I just going back to high school in Jersey? Oh my God, you've got to be kidding me. Okay, well, whatever. That is a perfect fall. Oh, my kneecap. Oh yeah. Oh, I lost all my speed. Now this may look like I've lost a lot of blood. Uh, this is actually various strawberries that I keep inside of my clothing at all times. That's smooth. Oh, this is smooth. Yeah! And we have a perfect yeet. My ability to manipulate my floating body is second to none at this point. No! I hate myself so much for missing that. Okay, perfect. All right, nice. And I think we have a checkpoint straight ahead as long as I don't get shot in midair. There it is with the half twist. I am so concerned that this just says it's raining cars. You know, it would have been great a little... Wait, what was that? How? <laughs> How do you even do this? Okay, so yeet myself off, land it right in the middle, so now I have to dodge the cars somehow. <laughs> it's not often I get to look in the face of true evil. It's this board, yeah. It's this board. Okay, yeet and dodge. That's perfect. Oh, that's good. That's good. Is that another jump? I have to, no! You have to jump two different tubes? I hate you so much right now. It is, it is difficult for me to describe how much I hate you and geometry. You know what's killing me right now? Mathematics. It's all angles. Okay, that's good. That's perfect. There we go. So now, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, and twist. Yes! Yes! This is happening, 100%. And we have, oh no! How much speed do I have to keep to get to the end of this? It's not fair. <laughs> okay, there's the twist. You can definitely get some extra speed up if you torpedo yourself. So, there, that's the torpedo, okay. Oh yeah, we got good speed. This is good speed. And perfect, checkpoint. 
Jump six to eight. Meteor shower. Um, okay. Sure. I mean, if I could dodge a bunch of cars, I can probably dodge a meteor, right? I feel like this is some very substantially stupid dodgeball training. See, over here in Florida, we don't just, you know, dodge wrenches and stuff. We dodge meteorites. That's how we roll. I'm dead. It's kind of weird for me to say this, but falling down a slide to your death is all about where you end up at, at, at the end of the slide. Okay, you wanna be right in the middle, right there. That's perfect. And that was less than perfect. I have been around meteorites so much at this point, I am becoming a meteorite. I am effectively one of them. Cover the face, cover the face. See if I figured out, if I don't, if I don't see it coming, it can't hit me, right? Okay, I don't see the meteorites. The meteorites don't see me. This is fine. Okay, I didn't see the, the slide there either. Good launch. And we have a good landing, but first, that was fantastic. You're gonna notice I am very clean right now. You can see my beautiful blonde hair. Ah! Part of my spine is still on this slide. Okay, the rest of my spine is now on this slide as well. There we go. Getting that land is actually kind of tough because it seems like my character wants to constantly go to the left. Probably the most amazing thing about this so far is I have not been touched by one single meteorite. It's more a matter of just trying to get onto the slide. The meteorites and I get along. We're good. Wow! What was, that meteorite was the size of a planet. I'll remember this. Okay, launch and good landing okay bad landing they never taught me that doing the twist would be so painful how many more pieces of my vertebrae must i sacrifice first launch beautiful landing okay if i pull myself up to the left oddly i my body moves to the right which is kind of weird but whatever we'll use that good landing head first nice Whoa! I almost got killed by a meteorite, and we have a checkpoint! Scenario, elements, water and fire. Why do I have to go through all of the Captain Planet elements? Where's love at? I love how- How come I never have to deal with any of the good elements? Real quick, there's something I have to mention too. Um, if you look down there, I don't know if you can see it, but the little water death geysers are pulsating. They're moving from side to side. Ow! I feel like this particular one requires a level of luck that I don't possess. Never mind, I have all the luck in the entire universe. If I can make it through the death geysers, I can make it through the... Never mind. All right, penetrative geysers. I'm a Pisces. You and I are friends. There we are. And... I... What are the... <laughs> I don't even know what's hitting me. Luckily, because I'm <sighs> Floridian, I'm mostly flame retardant. I don't know if I've ever drowned before 2,000 feet in the air, but you know what? If you wanted to kill me in an unusual way, congratulations, you found it. God, it's like playing DDR if the only thing you did in DDR was die. Oh, that worked out really well. There we go. I think I, I may have lost a little bit too much speed. Oh, through the flames! No, I did! So this is just a matter of timing, luck, and speed. <laughs> the problem is if you don't have the luck and you don't have the timing, then you're gonna end up hitting the fires of Mordor over here. And if you lose even the slightest bit of speed, you can't make this ridiculous jump. There it is, the twist. And I think there's two more geysers at the bottom. Ah, there's flaming shots, I made it! <laughs> <laughs> ah, I hate you so much. Mm, nothing like leaving a little bit of my own Picasso on the ground there. Not gonna lie, I've lost so much blood, I don't actually know how I'm still alive. How many balls do you like in your board? I mean, it's better than windmills, I guess. I feel like I have to take the opportunity to ask, how do you define balls? Shouldn't have asked. What is this? It's like the devil's ball pit. What are you supposed to do? I mean, I guess I have to fall just to find out. <laughs> I don't actually know if there's a, oh, okay, there's an exit all the way in the back. Look, I have to slide down this, keep my speed, dodge all of the balls and end up rocketing out the other side. The problem here is, <laughs> I love how I thought there wasn't gonna be any of the wind turbines. Nope, there's totally wind turbines. In fact, it is imperative apparently to use those to make my life. <laughs> So difficult with the balls. <laughs> Mommy, I want to go to the ball pit. We have the ball pit at home. This is the ball pit at home. All right, now I think that you need to, you need to understand the true meaning of terror. So you fall on this, you're sliding down. You know, most of your eyeballs have been removed at this point. And now you're getting hit by soccer balls moving at 100 miles an hour. I'm like a graceful swan. I'm like a graceful swan with a phobia of giant balls. 
Ooh. I almost made it. The balls almost got me through. Maybe the balls and I can strike some kind of an agreement. You know what I mean? I feel like the person who made this had thought about every shape that I said I live in fear of, and I'm pretty sure squares and triangles were in there. They were like, you know what, spheres. I love trauma. <gasps> oh, oh. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, where's my checkpoint? Like anything, just any checkpoint. I I have to use my nails to grip onto the sidewall of this. Oh, thank you. I was so afraid this was gonna dump me into another ball pit and I'd have to get through two of them to get a checkpoint. Checkpoint. How big do you like your balls in your board? I mean, that's kind of hypothetical. I would appreciate it if they weren't here to begin with. In fact, you know what would be best? If you just made me a board with a beginning and an end and nothing in the middle. Are those bowling balls? All right, you know what, whatever. After everything I've been through, I have very little fear of a bowling ball coming to crush my medulla out of my wrecked out. Okay, all right, maybe that's, ow. You know, I'm, Make it stop. Make it, I am painting the entirety of this green board red. Someone's gonna put a black light into this ball pit and they're just gonna find 30,000 gallons of my DNA everywhere. I'm trying to remember, but I, I think in the other ball pit, there wasn't actually a windmill hitting me out of the way. I just had to deal with the balls. Now I have to deal with the balls and the windmill. I feel like the question isn't really how good I am at the game. It's more of a matter of how much psychological torture am I prepared to endure to beat the boards you guys make for me. No. Oh, the ball hit me! The ball hit me to the finish! It counts and thanks to that, we have a winner! Oh, I'm gonna go ahead and experience 10 billion Gs until I eventually liquefy into a pool of gray. Anyway, folks, I hope you enjoyed this episode of GTA. Till next time. Stay foxy and much love. <laughs>